Hello, it's time for another trio of pips. We're going to play some dominoes. Let's start with the easy level. Let's start solving. All right, so we've got equals, which must include fives, because we only have, that's our only option to have four equivalences. All right, so the four then must fill the four box, and that means we now have a five that must be vertically positioned there, and the three must go here. All right, very straightforward, easy today. And uh, let's try medium. See how this one goes. Let's start solving. Okay, so eight will be made up of two fours. There's no five and three. It could be a six and a two in there. And, well, the 12 will be made up of two sixes, which must both be placed vertically because that's the only way to do it. So, oh no, they can't both be placed vertically. There's no way to do that either. So it'll be, uh, one, of the, one of them will be, vertical with a two, and then the other one will need a two sticking out of the four. Um, and I think one of them will need to be a two going into the zero to maintain this zero region here. And then the other six must go here. Now the four has one zero, which means we need a total of four remaining. So our double two goes there, which means the other zero fills the zero region. And now we have an eight, which will be filled with two fours. And that's that. Okay, that was the medium. Not too bad. Let's try hard. See how this one goes. Whoa, look how small it is. That's really small. <laughs> okay, so we have 18, which must be made up of three sixes. And then one of them will be a six, three, presumably in order to, well, I was going to say it needs to be six, three, but I guess actually it could be a six that points up into the 10 and the 10 could point down into the three. Okay. Um, that is true. And then 12 will be two sixes. So we need a total of five sixes across the 12 and the 18. I wish we could reorder these down here so I could just kind of get them in order. And we have exactly five sixes. So we do need to think about how that, how that works. Okay. And then we'll have a 10, which can't use any sixes because those are all spoken for. So the 10 will need to be two fives. So do we have a five, six anywhere to point down into the 18, we do. So let's try putting that there. Two sixes in the 18, a three and a five to make the 10. So I think that might be how the bottom works. Then look at this two, that's interesting, this huge two, um, which I think is going to need to have two ones and then two blanks sticking out in order to keep it to a total of two. So one blank six will go into the 12 and then the other six will probably point to the equals because it looks like we have plenty of twos from which to make that, um, that equals work. Uh, so we've got another blank to stick out of this large two region. Then the equivalence region will need this other two sticking up out of it. Oh no, that's wrong. Yeah, I've done something wrong because the equals doesn't work there. Right, okay. Oh, the six goes horizontally into the two. Sorry about that. That's correct. And then we need two ones to, to make this equivalent region. And then the nine, oops, the nine will be made up with this four to add to the five to equal, to equal nine. And there we go. Okay, that was a bit of a tricky one. Um, it's very small, sorry about that. I hope it's readable on your screen. Um, but there we go. Those were the pips. I won't be back tomorrow. I'm traveling this weekend, so I, I'll be unable to record videos for the next couple of days due to the situation I'll be in. So hopefully back on Monday. Bye for now.